Hey, Prof G here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own ganglion cyst. If you're a student and you're trying to figure out how can I make something that's realistic using things I can buy online or at the store, this is the video for you. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so the materials we're going to need to create our very own ganglion cyst are one, a pork skin and so i got this from my local meat market uh, i asked them for pork belly with the skin on and i asked for a four by four uh, piece four inches by four inches now you can see here that i've already used this skin uh, to do an abscess demonstration and if you haven't seen that video go ahead and find that link and take a look at that uh, but today we're going to be using the same skin uh, on a different side of it and make use and create a ganglion cyst so I went ahead and went online to Amazon and the link will be there in the description. Um, I ordered a hundred of the bath oil beads and it came uh, in this little bag. And each one is a little oil bead in a plastic coating. Um, and it, it is, it's, you can feel it has some firmness to it, but there's liquid inside of it. Um, so we'll need these. Um, we'll also need a scalpel uh, and that's to create the hole within the, um, the pig skin so we can put this ganglion cyst underneath the skin. Uh, and that's pretty much all we need, maybe some gloves and uh, some gauze or paper towels to kind of keep the area clean. But otherwise, it's pretty much what we're gonna need to make this uh, realistic ganglion cyst. So let's get going. All right, so now that we have all our materials here, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some gloves since I am handling pork and I don't want my hands to smell uh, too bad. I'm gonna put these gloves on. And then I'm gonna examine my skin. Now I've already used this side here, so I don't wanna use that side again. I'm gonna use this side over here and I'm gonna place the uh, bead kind of here in this area. So what I wanna do is take my scalpel, uh, being careful with my blade. I wanna kind of pick up this edge here and slide my scalpel blade between the layers of skin kind of where the meat starts. And I wanna create a little pocket. So I'm gonna cut a little bit and I'm gonna separate in here, similar to what I did for the abscess. I just wanna kind of create a little pocket in there. And so once I get kind of deeper, I'm gonna kind of um, move my scalpel kind of back and forth to create that pocket in there and um, get deep enough so that the circle will be in there, the, the little bath bead will be in there enough so that it doesn't slide back out the other side. So I can see that I have a little pocket. I'll kind of stick my finger in there and see how, how big it is. I can also break up the tissue a little bit that way. I can kind of feel that there's still a little stuckness here. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Good, okay. And then once I think I have it, I can kind of try to slide this in there. So I'll grab my, my bead, my bubble, and I'll kind of push it gently underneath there. So it is close to the edge, um, which is not that big of a deal because I'm gonna be careful myself. But if you were concerned that it could just kind of slide right out, uh, you could create a little bit deeper hole to kind of put it in. Uh, but I'm pretty satisfied with that right here. Another thing that you could do here is grab some suture and actually kind of uh, sew this area shut. And that will help make, make sure that this bead stays where it needs to stay. Now, one word of advice, I would recommend that you do this right before you're about to, to do the procedure um, because these, um, these gels are actually intended to disintegrate when they are wet. So you don't wanna leave this in overnight, over a few hours, because it will disintegrate and all of that gel will just leak out underneath the skin. And that's in contrast to the abscess that we made earlier. The abscess, because it's in a water balloon, you can actually leave there overnight if you wanted to. Um, but this one, you're gonna wanna do the procedure pretty quickly after you insert it under the skin. Now, just as a quick demonstration, I'm gonna show you how I would do a quick stitch to make sure that things uh, stay in place. This that I have here is some demo suture. It's Silk 2.0 that I bought on Amazon that you can buy yourself. So I wanna kind of grab the edge and kind of sew this so that it stays shut. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the skin and a little bit of the, the tissue, kind of pull it together. And uh, you can do a couple of simple interrupted stitches or you can do a quick running stitch, a mattress stitch, really up to you. 
And you can use it to kind of practice if you wanted to working on your, your sutures. So I'm gonna throw in uh, a couple here. I'm just gonna do quick interrupted. Um, I'm gonna throw in one more just to make sure that that little bead doesn't slide out on me. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more quick stitch right here. So we get a little bit of bite of this, a little bite of the meat, pull it through. Lay it down. Just make sure it's nice and stuck in there. All right, I'm gonna cut my little edges. So now my little bubble should not go anywhere. It should be nice and stuck. And so I can move on. And if you're interested in seeing the um, aspiration of this pseudo ganglion cyst, make sure to check out my next video. Thank you.